Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praise, glory, and honor due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rabbi Chakwadash, Debonish to the elder apostles who rule well of the great millstone that taught me this truth, and much love, greetings, and salutations to the tabernacle of David, the old for elect. Now, I just want to say a few words. You know, if you're not uh, paying attention, there's a reason why all over the Zionist backed social media platforms. You now have Jake becoming the face of hypersexuality, you know, being sexual predators, um, and now being the face of terror. And um, that's all by design. It's all orchestrated by the left hand uh, energy. And, um, you know, we got to be aware of what, you know, Satan is trying to do. You know, that's why the scriptures say to be circumspect. You know, um, you see that Esau is trying to move calculated because the world is paying attention. They waking up to, you know, the, the, the diabolical nature of this devil. All right. They see that he's, um, you know, he's really the biggest terrorist. He's the biggest freak. He's the biggest pedophile. And, uh, you know, so many scandals been coming out for, for many years. You know, a lot of different cases that have been swept under the rug. So he's doing all this for damage control to uh, divert their energy and attention back upon Jake. And, uh, you know, he has the power and the means to do so because, you know, he has that platform. He has the power of, me of media. All right. He controls these uh, different uh, news networks. And all they got to do is have a, a prominent figure come out and say something on television and the people is going to gravitate to it. They're going to take it as uh, as gospel. All right. So right now they're paint they painting a, a, a narrative and um, they're trying to uh, hold Jake to this monstrous imagery to project out to the world to demonize, you know, Israel. Now, of course, you got wicked niggas, you know, that that that, you know, they are brute beasts out there. All right. And the Mosai is going to deal with them. But Esau is going to try to use them to paint that that picture that these are how niggers are. And then you got all these different movements. All right. These, uh, you know, these left wing liberal uh, propagandist machines that's going to, you know, put Jake out there, you know, in, in, in that in that type of energy, man. And this is part of the dragon being wroth with the woman. When you read Revelation, the 12th chapter, this is all part of that, that anger. Because Esau is being found out and he's angry. Okay. There's a fire being burned all around him and he's trying to put it out because, you know, we're giving this devil no rest, man. All right. We're, we're, we're giving hell to him. This, this, this word is a, is a burning fire and it's burning him. It's getting too hot for him. All right. So he's going to infiltrate, you know, uh, Movements that are a threat against him, okay. Like for example, even the Israelites, man, you're gonna have uh, provocateurs and agents that's gonna be moving, you know, uh, not the way the Lord told us to move, because the Lord told us, you know, uh, you know, when you go out there, man, be as a, uh, 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 you know, be 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 uh, be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. You know, because you're going to you're going to be moving amongst wolves out there, man. People that's going to be wanting to uh, put you to death, deliver you up to the councils, you know, throw you into the prison. You're going to be persecuted uh, uh, for my namesake, man. So, you know, this is for us to be mindful in how we walk and how we conduct ourselves, because we're seeing exactly what Esau's trying to do. All right. They didn't drag uh, R. Kelly, you know, through the fire. All right. They they made an example out of uh, Bill Cosby. OK, and now all of a sudden <laughs> you wake up and you see Chris Brown's face on the summer jam screen way out in Paris, man. Now he's about to be painted along with R. Kelly now. Oh, this guy's a rapist and we know about his history. You know, he didn't he's known for beating your uh, Rihanna and, you know, all type of crazy shit, man. So they, they finna, you know, do a lot of damage control to divert the attention that's on his devil. They finna project that against uh, uh, against Jake. Along with this Hebrew Israelite thing, they finna start associating us with terrorism. That's why these these people that are 
you know, these news networks, they're being told and trained to basically uh, call us Muslims, Muslim Israelites or black Muslim Israelites, because Muslim is associated with terrorism. All right. So, you know, now that I didn't said all that, you know, I didn't spoke about five minutes now, but I just want to, uh, you know, share those words and then uh, bring these scriptures out. This is uh, Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. All right. And those wiles is talking about, you know, his deceit, his, his trickery, man. All right. His his, his crafty uh, uh, counsels because he's, he has to project Jake in a negative light in order before they uh, come to uh, uh, to persecute you, before they come to slaughter you, they got to. Uh, they got to justify it first. So they got to basically slander you. Okay. They got to put you out there like you're this uh, animal, you know, you're, you, you're armed and dangerous, you know, and it's, and it's basically usually the things that Esau himself is guilty of whatever he's guilty of. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, evidence being found on him. He'll try to uh, use his power all right. He'll try to use the power of 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 uh, media and uh, he'll he'll select, you know, uh, uh, one of these prominent uh, Jake celebrities out there and and, and find dirt on him or, or, or probably set him up. You know, use one of these, you know, bugged out women that are, you know, that's on that uh, uh, feminist wave. All right. And um, next thing you know, <laughs> Jake is now Jake and his face is all over the media. It's overshadowing all the other scandals that Esau has been brought up on. All right, we, hey, we, we, let's see, uh, uh, get the advantage of us for we're not ignorant to his devices, man. All right. We, we're, we're, we're paying attention, man. And we ain't going to allow you to find anything on us, man. We're going, we're going to walk circumspectly, man. All right. It says, verse 12, it says, we, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's what we're up against, man. All right. That, that we, we're dealing with the left hand or the Lord g gave Satan a charge over the left hand. OK, so Satan's going to be an adversary, man. He's going to, you know, paint negative pictures and, you know. He's going to try to find all type of shit against us to lump us together, to, to, you know, cast us down in the midst of the people. And the people are going to be with it. Yeah, get them dudes, man. I knew those dudes wasn't right. I knew they were terrorists. I knew they were rapists, you know. And they're going to look at these false Israelite dudes, these, uh, these infiltrators or these uh, provocateur and agents. They're going to look at their uh, strange behavior and they're going to associate that with, with all Israel. So that's why we're prepared because they're going to come after every Israelite group. It doesn't matter how you walk. It don't matter if you walk peaceful like the Lord told us to be, you know, at peace with all men, you know. So that, hey, it's, it's coming, man. So we got to put on that, that, that whole armor, man. Be girded about with this truth. All right. And make sure we're not walking carnally because this devil is looking for any carnal thing that he could find us uh, in, in, you know. The weapons of our warfare is not carnal. Okay. Uh, verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. You know, so basically we need to be watching as well as praying. Okay. And doing his work. And watching how you walk, man. Okay. Don't give occasion to the, to the adversary, man. To speak reproachfully, you know. Let 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 him just be the devil because he's in full accuser mode. Revelation twelve and ten, man, the accuser of our brethren. He's in full accuser mode, man, because the scope is on him. So, a wicked ass brother, he gonna be like, but but look at my brother, look at him, look what he did, you know. Start crying out like, look at him, look what he look what he's doing, but you just got caught. You you the, the scope is on you. Don't try to reflect on your brother. I already dealt with your brother. I'm talking, and I'm talking about uh, Jacob. It's on you now. You know. So you know that's what's happening, man. He's gonna channel his anger, his anger towards that woman, which is uh, Jacob, man. So that's why he's coming out, and he's gonna put Jake's face 
as the new face of terror, all right, any Israelite group or any black Muslim or whatever, you know, they basically have the sentiment to, um, to be uh, enemy combatants, all right? They was, they, they've been, uh, the, FBI, the FBI been working a case against us. They got a new uh, uh, a, a classification <laughs> to place us in, the black IE or the, or the black identity extremists, all right? They're a Muslim uh, hate group, you know, that, that's what they're going to say, okay? So, so we got to be alert and aware of these things, man. And, and, and we got to welcome it because the Lord told it. He warned us about these days, man. Okay? So a continuous says, Stand therefore having your loins girt about with the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, man, stay stay girded with this truth, man. Stand your ground. Okay? When these devils try to come against us, you already know the Lord said, Don't even think in your heart what you shall say. Because the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is going to give us utterance, man. You know, he said you're going to be brought before... Um, you know, before uh, governors and kings, you know, for my namesake. But uh, you know, don't 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 meditate. You know, what you'll so, what you shall say in that hour, because the Lord is going to give us the spirit, man. We're going to be bold as lions, man. All right, we're going to be bold as lions. All right, we we yes, we believe that our Lord is a so-called black man. His name is Yahweh Shai, and that He's coming back to deliver us. Yeah, we believe that he's coming back to bring this uh, so-called white man's kingdom down. It's prophesied, man. Okay? We believe that we're going to uh, get salvation in, in the kingdom. All right? So, you know, this is just, you know, just words that I have, you know, you know, to the body, you know, to the sincere Akiyam. And as a matter of fact, let me go from there to uh, Isaiah because... The fact that Judah is being targeted right now, which, you know, you other tribes, y'all gonna get targeted too, all right? You know what I mean? I mean, Trump is already painting a narrative that, you know, a lot of y'all are a bunch of drug smugglers and, you know, y'all are, uh, you know, <laughs> drug, uh, y'all, y'all uh, human traffickers. You know, we can't trust the, the, the Hispanics, you know, the border and, you know, he, he gonna talk bad about all the tribes, man. And that's part of that hatred. This is Isaiah 19 and 17. It says, And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. All right? And, uh, you know, basically what that means is, you know, uh, the, the so-called Negro is going to become a, a, a fear unto, unto uh, Egypt, man, which we're, we're in Egypt now. All right? So everybody's going to start coming against us. You know, they're coming against uh, so-called uh, black uh, masculinity. That's why they're trying to do away with... Uh, you know, heterosexuality, man, and to basically to eliminate the uh, the masculinity of, uh, of 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 you Israelites, man. That's what they're trying to uh, uh, nip in the bud. All right, they trying to make they trying to um, program our women to think that us being um, a masculine is actually toxic. You know, anything that we do is a uh, is is negative. But our women, they can, the, the behavior that they uh, dis uh, distribute, you know, it's, it should be no problem with that. Whatever they do is progressive. All right? They finna hype this little, this situation in ATL, you know, with his, with his so-called black woman, you know, she was, uh, you know, she basically got it took by some thirsty ass nigga in the, in the club. But what, then, what the media not gonna tell you is this bitch came to the club, all right? She had just divorced her husband, which if she would have stuck with her husband or, and been a mother to her children and, and a keeper at home, like the scriptures say, she wouldn't have even been in that predicament. She wouldn't have even been in that environment for that to even have happened to her. But she decided to go into that club, all right, with, with, with some strangers, all right, wear, wear a little ass tight skirt, all right, with no, with no drawers, no, no underwear underneath. All right, and she decided this same dude that raped her, she was dancing all up on against his rod, man. Okay, so he just basically took it. Now, do I condone what he did? Hell no, I don't. But at the end of the day, <laughs> so we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, help hold these grown ass women responsible, or we gotta treat them like little retarded children, man. But see, this is this is the, the the picture that's being painted 
all right, in, in this society to cast down the masculinity of, uh, of the so-called uh, black men. All right, so J Judah's becoming a terror unto Egypt. Okay, and Esau is gonna he's gonna exaggerate that. All right, he's gonna shame us. He's gonna uh, you know try to take down these prominent men to basically intimidate and put fear on the rest of you underachieved men that look up to these uh, uh, prominent men. All right, they're 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 training you in the in, in the job force. Yeah, you. You better not even look a woman's way or you could get written up. If she feel a certain way, you looked at her funny, you know, you could possibly get written up and possibly fired. All right. So they're trying to neuter you men. They're trying to uh, basically uh, emasculate you, man. All right. Because Esau is fearing the rise of the nation of Israel. And it starts with the head. Judah is, is going to be the uh, um, it, it tells you how the Lord is going to save the tents of Judah first, man. Unto Judah, uh, uh, the brethren shall be gathered, man. All right, and, and praised. So Esau is coming for the head right now, Judah. So that's why R. Kelly, uh, 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 Chris Brown, Bill Cosby, and other men that they uh, are coming after. And we can't forget, you know, the, the Israelites. All right. It says, everyone that make a mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he have determined against it. All right. And the Lord, he has a, he's determined to, to, to bring this place down, man. And he's using the, the, the Israelites to declare, to make that declaration that uh, Babylon is getting ready to go out, man. All right. Spiritually known as what? Sodom and Egypt. Okay. And Esau, he's, he's definitely not, he's not uh, a fond of. You know, the, the fact that we're out there boldly proclaiming the downfall of his kingdom, man. All right. So he's, you know, he, he's going to use his left hand, which is his left hand. I mean, really, his right hand is the is the uh, is, is the hand of falsehood or deception. OK, so he's going to put all of us up there on that summer jam screen. All right. And, and do and do the dirty work, do the work of, of his nature, man, which is to deceive and a lot of our people, they're going to get caught up in that, man. That witchcraft is going to work on them, uh, especially uh, our women. And then even the simple niggas that's still in the world that ain't awoken, man. All right. But to those of us that are awoken, you know, male and female, you know, our women and the men that's a part of the ministry. Hey, man, be circumspect, man. And I'm going to leave off with that scripture. All right. Let's get uh, Ephesians 5. And... uh Fourteen. All right, it says, "Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Meaning we got to be prudent, man. All right, as this devil was uh, uh, watching and observing us, we got to be uh, watching him too. Okay." He's trying to be big brother and watch everything, watch our mark our steps and everything that we do. We need to be also uh, watching for him. OK, and watch the behavior uh, around us, you know, watch like like all the camp heads. We're supposed to be watching over the flock. All right. Know the state of your flock, man. Watch over brothers behavior and how they walking, how they moving. All right. Because this devil, he's you know, he's watching everything. But ultimately, the Lord is watching everything. The most high, y'all bash me out shy, man. All right, so be walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yeah, because we're getting ready to come into Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's about to be troubled again. And he's going and this devil's going to come down having great wrath because he know that he have but a short time. All right. But hey, we're going to be count we're going to count it joy when we get persecuted. We're going to be we going to count it joy to suffer shame for the name of our Lord, man. Whatever they say against us falsely, hey man, we 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 gonna we gonna take it, man. Lord willing, the Lord give us the spirit to endure that, man. When we get persecuted, hey, rejoice. Okay. So um, you know that's pretty much it, man. Those are just you know words that I you know that came to me in the spirit. You know I just want to uh, put that out there. You know it's no coincidence what they're doing. You know Trump. You know Trump. Analyze what happened at the uh, 
you know, in D.C. So he definitely, Trump knows about the Israelites, man. He knows who we are, man. Because he, he got a chance to watch that video and he's backing those uh, those little Catholic school devils. All right, that was that was there, man. And all, everything that happened over there was all set up, man. All right, it was all set up. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Bashim Yahushai. Until next time, I say Shalom Akim.